Hey everybody, my name's Locke, and welcome to the Dead Space 3 video review for Cooptimist.com. First off, let me say that the story in Dead Space 3 picks up a little bit after the events of Dead Space 2. If you distill it down, Isaac Clarke is once again shooting necromorphs in space. Who would have thunk? A drop-in, drop-out co-op campaign has replaced the competitive multiplayer this time around, and although it shifts the tone of Dead Space from horror to action, it is still immensely fun to team up with a buddy and do some damage. There are some subtle differences between solo play and co-op, ranging from slight puzzle variations for two players to additional story points. Although these extra morsels of plot are nice to have, they certainly don't change the game all that much. The strongest part of the game is the first third, which feels like classic Dead Space. You navigate open space, looking for ships to explore and salvage, while blasting everything in your way. The environmental puzzles still remain, although you'll find less of them than you found in the previous Dead Space games. When you do hit the ice planet of Tau Volanis that they've been showing in all the marketing, it doesn't all fall apart there, it just doesn't have the same thing that separates Dead Space from other action games out there. Shootouts with people are kind of weak, especially since the series has trained us to shoot everything but center mass. You're still tactically dismembering monstrosities that pop out of air vents, and the formula remains the same of slowing enemies with stasis, shooting their limbs, and then grabbing said severed limb and blasting it back at your foe using kinetics. I do have to mention that all of the necromorphs in Dead Space 3 make the best piñatas, since they're full of all kinds of goodies that you can stomp out of them. So what does Dead Space 3 do differently? Well, not a ton, but they have introduced an interesting weapon crafting system that allows you to take parts that you scavenge throughout the game and put them together to make all sorts of fun weapons. Want something with longer range? Maybe swap out that shotgun for a precision rifle. Need something for close quarters that packs a bunch? Just build it. You can tailor your weapons to suit your needs or playstyle, and this comes in really handy when coordinating with a partner. Toss a couple of attachments that allow for partner healing, elemental damage, or even larger clips and automatic ammo pickups. There are tons of combinations, so just ensure that you have a patient co-op buddy if you plan on tinkering at the bench for extended periods of time while you craft that perfect death machine for the incoming necromorphs. The save system in the game seems a little wonky. Several times I saved and exited, only to find myself in an area that I had spent a good 30 minutes cleaning up during my last play session. There seems to be some network issues going on with the EA servers, and the checkpoint system in the game is a little touch and go, which is disconcerting when they've advertised drop-in and drop-out co-op play. It isn't game-breaking, but just keep this in mind when you're syncing up to play with a friend. Some of the environments are reused throughout the game, especially when doing optional scavenge missions. Again, these are optional, but they do provide some much needed resources throughout the game, so get used to seeing the same ships over and over. The fetch this, fix that style of quest is definitely overused, giving me the impression that everyone is taking advantage of Isaac's engineering skills. When he does go to fix the power conductor for the 10th time, of course he gets separated from the pack and has to fight his way back to safety. I haven't even mentioned Isaac's partner throughout the game, named Carver, a delusional soldier that just doesn't give a damn. During co-op play, he and Isaac are inseparable, but during solo play, he isn't controlled by an AI, so you won't see him that much, but you will see him pop up from time to time during the game. A few side missions can only be accessed through co-op. Carver has his own story, and he and Isaac's dialogue adds some humor to the game, it's pretty cool to have some co-op tailored content, but again, these have a small impact on the bigger picture. When you do hop into a buddy's game, keep in mind that your inventory is saved, so all those parts you've picked up and all that ammo you've picked up will transfer into your own game. You get credit for all the chapters you complete, even if you haven't been there in your own story. The inventory is a big thing, so keep that in mind. So the co-op in Dead Space 3 makes it more of a buddy action game than a horror game. Even in Solo, it's more of an action game now, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So grab some duct tape, make yourself a gun, because you're going to be doing a lot of shooting in Dead Space 3.